My 35M wife, 29F, of 5 years, wants a divorce after I requested a paternity test. I met my wife through a mutual friend. We were friends for a year or so before we both became single and decided we were compatible enough to date. We were together two years before we got married. I do not know what got into me. My wife is loyal, faithful, but I had been reading statistics about how many men are raising children that aren't their own and had absolutely no idea around the time she found out she was pregnant. We both wanted children but we weren't actively preventing it. About three months in, I couldn't take it anymore and told her I wanted a paternity test. She asked me if I was accusing her of cheating. I said yes. She asked me why, and I couldn't answer her. Neither of us has ever cheated or been cheated on. She works very hard, long hours at her job, but has always let me know where she is or who she will be with. If she was going somewhere with friends, I was always welcomed. I do not know why I did this, and it's tearing me up. She told me she'd gladly give me my paternity test, but that she was moving back to her mother's until that time because she didn't know if she wanted to continue the marriage. She got an amniocentesis test at about 20 weeks. I'm the father, and when she told me, I was so happy. But she wasn't. She told me that she felt like she fell out of love with me the minute I asked her, and that she had no desire to reconcile. Our daughter was born July 10th. My wife has gone through a lawyer and has started through the motions of divorce and issues of custody. She has since gotten her own apartment. She said she wants to keep this, as amicable, as possible for the sake of our daughter, but I just want to be a family. She doesn't want support or alimony because she makes more than enough to cover herself and our daughter's needs and live a comfortable life. It's taken since February to even get her to soften her stance and even think about counseling. She said she loves me, but she isn't sure she can get over this. Now I'm trying to think of how to fix this, and I'm just such a broken mess. I want to prepare a list to talk about on Monday at counseling, but I just can't think of anything but apologizing and that hasn't made a difference in the past months, I don't think it would now. Update. I got to sit down with my wife during my visit with my daughter while she was napping. She says that this was the straw that broke the camel's back. Here is why she went nuclear, as a lot of people said. As much as this hurt, I needed to hear it. I had trouble trusting her our whole relationship, despite the fact she had never cheated on me or any exes. She's caught me snooping through her phone or email or work laptop before, and because she deals with privileged information, she says I open her up to liabilities with her clients. No, I have never found anything incriminating. She has never hidden anything except work-related things because of confidentiality. Her bank accounts, credit card information, phone records were always open to me because she's caught me snooping before and she wanted to assuage my fears. I had recently installed Tinder on my phone and she had caught me on OkCupid six months ago. Her best friend sent her my profile, so she thinks that this is me projecting. She got upset about the hypocriticalness of it all, while she had to be fully open to me, but she says I never showed her the same courtesy and always bitched at her about my privacy. I had my phone passcode, I would get upset if she did the same, and I'd get angry with her if she went into my computer or email for any reason, even if it was bill-related. She said what really made her not want to work on it was some of the following. She felt no support from me at all before the test. She would come over every other day and talk to me, but I was, cold, to her, and that she tried to work on it in the beginning, she said my aloofness made her not care. I refused to help her cover the copay for the amniocentesis. She said this was pettiness that made her feel this way, but she was going to get an amniocentesis test anyway because she's paranoid about birth defects and her insurance didn't deem it medically necessary. I went on a few dates after she moved out and she found out. She considered it cheating because she had been attempting to work on our marriage at that point and had even made counseling appointments that I refused to attend until she got the paternity test. I didn't remember about this and didn't include it in my last post. She said she's willing to work on the marriage but she said that it has to be as open both ways and she isn't willing to move back in with me right away. I have to give her the passcode to my phone and delete Tinder. I do not want to give her the passcode to my phone because I think I deserve my privacy. Her other condition is personal therapy as well as the couple's counseling. I don't want to do this, either, because as many of you have pointed out, there's nothing wrong with wanting to be sure. Update 2. I realize now that I'm not exactly someone you want to sympathize with, and I'm sorry. I do love Sarah and want to be a better husband and father. But I will not get that chance. In therapy, our therapist had us lay everything out on the table, and I admitted that I was an unfair hypocrite. She admitted that she's happier without me, despite being a single mother for all intents and purposes. We attempted to talk it through, with her laying out her terms to re-enter the marriage. I still feel I did not cheat on her because she left me with no discussion of terms, she feels I cheated because we were still married and actively discussing her eventually rebuilding her trust in me and moving back home. We agreed to try another therapy session, but Tuesday morning she cancelled it, and she filed for divorce. We had dinner that night. She told me she was sorry but she didn't think it would work because her trust at this point was irrevocably broken. I told her it was okay. We sat down and talked about visitation until she leaves in January, when she will be moving to her home state with an opportunity that grants her more money and better benefits, including on-site daycare. She told me she harbors no hard feelings towards me, but she wishes it hadn't ended this way. I told her it didn't have to, but she disagreed and said it did. I told her I'd give her access to my phone and such, but the fact that I did that to her left a sour taste in her mouth about it and she doesn't want a relationship where it's considered normal to not share or rifle through the other person's things for. No reason. As she put it, we agreed on child support, and we will get it in writing. 
I make a comparable amount to what she will be making, so we agreed to split baby's expenses. Baby will be on her insurance. I gave her a check for the amount for the amino. Anything else we can think of? I know there's no chance of getting my wife back now, but how can I be a good dad to baby long distance? We talked about me eventually moving to be in proximity. She made sure to emphasize for baby that we will not be getting back together, but I'm locked into a contract until next December at least.